Hello, hello, my name is A Far Cry Away. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for your support on my recent Sandstorm videos. And let's just go ahead and drop right into this one. So this video is not really something that's necessarily confirmed or denied in any way. It's all speculation and ideas. So Reddit user Sylvester Graham posted this picture called OKNWI Explain This where it's basically making a mockery of how are you supposed to put a gas mask on top of the ballistic face mask, it just won't work. And <laughs> I found it really funny, but I also found it very thought-provoking, like exactly, how would this work in-game? How are they going to do this? My initial thought was, well, they'll just despawn the face mask that you're wearing and plop the gas mask over it with some sort of default mesh underneath that, just to, I don't know, make it make sense. But at the same time, I thought, well, that's kind of lazy, and I feel like they could do so much more with this idea of having the ballistic face mask in the game. Now, as it stands, it's confirmed as a cosmetic. However, what if it wasn't a cosmetic? What if it was equipment that the insurgents could choose to bring into the game with their supply points? So imagine that instead of spending the zero that you have to actually spend just to get the gas mask, what if you threw away the gas mask as an insurgent and put, picked up this ballistic mask with you know, maybe two or three supply points, and then it would protect your head, or your face rather, the face hitbox, from smaller caliber munitions such as 9mm from hitting you in the head and killing you instantly. Heck, it could even provide protection from grenade shrapnel to the face. If you're wearing heavy Kevlar body armor anyway, and then you put this on and you face towards a grenade explosion, what if it could just soak up most of that shrapnel for you and keep you alive? Now for co-op, especially hardcore co-op, something like this would be very, very useful and very, very powerful. Not necessarily so powerful that it would totally tip the scale. Remember, this stuff, you know, once it gets hit once or twice in real life, you lose the integrity of the mask itself. So everything else that hits it, the energy isn't being absorbed as efficiently. So I think the way it would work in game is, let's say you're playing as an insurgent, security guy turns the corner with his 9mm, shoots you point blank in the head with this thing. You're wearing the ballistic face mask, it soaks the damage, you still get hurt because obviously this is like being punched in the face really hard. So you will still take damage. But what if it doesn't kill you immediately? Now for me, as somebody who loves the hardcore co-op playlist in this game, I think this would be an awesome choice to bring along. Not only does it look cool, but it could protect you. But then again, you have to look at it like this. Then everybody feels like they have to pick this thing up. Not necessarily always. With some loadouts like the heavy gunner, demolitions, and snipers, they might want to opt out for it because they're not going to be always in close anyway. But for the riflemen and everyone else, they're probably going to want to bring this because it'll keep them alive longer. Now, I think as a choice it's great to have, but I don't want to always see everyone rocking this thing. So there's, there's part of me that's like, I want it to stay cosmetic because it looks cool for those who want just to look cool for the sake of it. But then there's that other part of me that just goes, but that doesn't make any sense. This thing actually has real real use and real life application. A boonie hat that the security guys wear looks cool, but I guess the most application it has is it protects your face from the sun, you know? It doesn't really offer you much besides a little bit of camo and sun protection. So as a cosmetic, the boonie hat makes sense, but this ballistic face mask as a cosmetic doesn't make sense because of the real life implications and tactical use that you can have wearing one of these things. It just feels like it's a huge wasted opportunity. Now, of course, they could, like I said, just make it cosmetic, where you put the gas mask over it, no biggie, despawn that, or have an animation where you take off the ballistic face mask first. But I just, man, I can't help it. I just really want to see it be, maybe it has to be a community mod, who knows, maybe New World Interactive have too much on their plate as is. And that's not even including, you know, all these updates that they've announced, including also having to work on a, you know, PlayStation and Xbox ports of the game. I'm actually not sure if it's coming to Xbox or the consoles for that matter. They haven't, they haven't really said anything about that. And I keep seeing comments, but this is just a bit of a tangent here. But yeah, I keep seeing you guys comment like, where's the console version? Where's the console version? And I'm right there with you. I kind of am curious about that too. But I do speculate, maybe they're waiting for the next gen consoles to come out because they know this game will run a lot better on them at launch. And to be fair, based on the optimization of this game, I could kind of see where they're coming from with that thought process. But of course, that is just speculation and a bit of a tangent. Now, if the insurgents get the option to wear this ballistic face mask, 
then what would, what would be the securities version of this? Because the security should also get something that's comparable to that, because otherwise it would feel a little bit one-sided. Now, they don't necessarily have to get something that compares to this, but I did see in the comments on this post on Reddit, somebody was saying, uh, Oh yeah, here he is. Uh, Gagaro MMDC said, What about the helmet of the security forces? Like a modern one, shouldn't it protect too? The idea is good, but in gameplay it will suck. Uh, I think what he's trying to say here is, like, wouldn't it be cool if the security's helmet could also block certain caliber rounds, just like this face mask can, but at the same time that could totally unbalance the game and ruin it. So, like, that's what I'm wondering. Can the security forces get their helmets to have a similar benefit? Now, I don't know. I really don't. I don't know if there's a way to make this work with the game. And then also, I don't know if it's something the players want. I know a lot of people already feel like it's too many shots to kill in this compared to the original Insurgency, and that the hit detection can be off, so adding another layer onto the unpredictability of actually getting kill shots just doesn't seem very, like, good. And then you have to think, also, this minimizes the effectiveness of the pistol, especially for, like, PvP. Now, in PvE, I don't think people will mind as much because they won't be dying as much. However, I think definitely, if they tried to incorporate this kind of equipment into the PvP, a lot of people would be upset, especially anyone who rocks SMGs, for example, anyone who likes to get their sidearm kills. This could throw a monkey wrench in the works and really mess up your day, so... I don't know, it's just a very interesting thought experiment here for this for this equipment and insurgency. And honestly, at the end of the day, if they don't want to make it equipment, I will be completely fine with that. I think as a cosmetic choice, it looks good. Maybe if they included that animation where you take the face mask off first before putting on the gas mask, it would look a little bit cleaner, a little bit more realistic. But just the idea, it's its really a neat one, and I would love to see it somehow in the game where, you know, you're looking through your ballistic face mask, you can't see out of your corners too well, and then you get shot in the face and you actually manage to survive it. I just think that would be really neat. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you like the idea. Do you not like the idea? Uh, please, you know, give me your feedback on this. Not like I need it because I don't have any control over what goes in this game. But I would just I would just be really curious to see what the community consensus on this is. So if you guys like insurgency content on the latest updates coming to the game and everything, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel here at A Far Cry Away. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay frosty out there. Or I could just use this as footage for talking about mod support for Sandstorm. And how much like possibility it opens up. Whoa. Possibility of arriving. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Well, like, even if you didn't want that in the game, you could still get, like, cosmetic mods. Like, because they have the cosmetic system in the game. It's like, not only could you retexture it or add new camos to the game, ow, but you could add, like, like new items, too. Like, I know some people don't want to see certain items in the uh, the pool of cosmetics for Sandstorm, right? Like, they think it's too edgy or too paintball or too airsofty or whatever. Like, I saw a ball and kava for the security side with, like, the skull thing on it that the insurgents get. And they combined it with the, like, the tack helmet. And it looked amazing to me. But in the comments, some people were like, oh, we can't, we can't have that in the game because it's just too, like, airsofty and cringy. But I'm of the opinion of it looks awesome, right? Like, I think it looks cool. Sure, yeah. it's not, like, real, like, realistic, but, I mean, it's just a piece of cloth, so, I mean, it is realistic. Somebody could be wearing that, maybe not in a military unit, like a proper military unit, but, yeah. I mean, have you seen the Vietnam War and what people did to their uniforms in that? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And, uh, I don't know. I think it's cool, and, like, stuff like that could be added from the community. And, like, it'd be client-side, which, yeah, that would kind of suck. Like, your friends can't see it. But at the same time, it'd be cool to know, like, you have it. And if you yeah. do go down, you see it in, like, third person. <laughs> and speaking of third person, like, third person could be mods, too. Like, they had a uh, SOCOM mod for Insurgency, where, like, it played in third person, had the crosshair in the center, like SOCOM US Navy SEALs had. Mm. And it was quite awesome. Not a lot of people played it, but it was really cool, and it was 
populated and uh to see that maybe get expanded in sandstorm would be a neat concept yeah are uh, the cosmetics <laughs> unlockables or like you pay for them uh yeah well currently yes like you pay with the end game currency you earn from leveling up yeah but I guess if you had mod support for it, they would just be added as, like, free cosmetics.